And you can so tell when you're getting old or when you have a family because going out for you is literally like going to the grocery store. Why am I at the commissary right now, y'all? I am literally at the commissary. chaplain spouses are having a meet and greet to all the new chaplain spouses and I'm out here sitting in my car I'm about 10 minutes early and I'm actually quite nervous I don't even know why I think so far I'm the only one here it's the only car I see I hope I'm in the right place um, but I'm kind of nervous like I don't even know what to expect or how they're gonna be or you know I don't know it's kind of nerve-wracking so a 10 minutes to wait and I'll head in um, and meet the lovely ladies see wish me luck y'all wish me luck so I just came back from meeting the ladies and it was so nice y'all the ladies are so sweet it was a handful of us that went and they were very helpful they were um, just trying to figure out like what any questions that I had like just welcoming me and making me feel comfortable but the reality is it's like what questions do you have when you don't even know what to expect? It's like, I had no questions. And then they were like explaining all the differences between the brigade and the battalion and the troops. And oh Lord, can I say my brain cells? And they're like, it's okay, you'll get it. Don't worry, you'll get it. So it was really nice. So it's really nice meeting them. So now I'm about to go to the exchange. I have a couple of things that I had to return back. Um, so let's see if we get a sneak peek of what the exchange look like, y'all. Let's, let's, let's go! Y'all, I still haven't gotten used to seeing so many military people. Like, it is so slipping and oh, weird. So technically, y'all, it's like a freaking mall. Like seriously, it's so cute. Look how cute these shoes are. I'm not a big Michael Kors fan, but man, these are so cute and unique. They say 11.15, I think. Yeah. So we're going to a farewell. A hail and farewell. A hail and farewell? Yes, I'm saying hello to those who are coming in. Oh, really? Oh, I thought we were just telling people, oh, we need a mask. Never walk with my mask, y'all. It's so sad. So this is Natoya, my wife of uh, 11 years. That's right, yes. 11 years and so and uh, we have two daughters, Priya and Pink. And these are the girls that are around me. She's my, my uh, commander, and then Pink is the command side of Baker. And uh, Priya is the, the XO. <laughs> so, so many times I feel like I'm there. If visitors are home, sorry, you drive through the bills, the food, and do the laundry. But these are the people that keep me young, top of chaplain spouse like the main one had one of these on it's the chaplain C insignia and I was like oh my god that is so cute all right guys so we just are now leaving the hail and farewell so it was welcoming the newcomers and then bidding farewell to those who will be leaving soon and it was so cute it was so nice and like I said I got my lovely necklace so you know I'm about to sport it. So I was told that they give it to you when you are um, coming in. So that was kind of like a welcome gift. So that was exciting. So now we're heading back home. Rohan has to do all these other meetings and all these sessions and blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna head home and finish up my cleaning. Yo, they even cut the grass, y'all. 
They cut the grass. I didn't know troopers cut grass. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're an extra duty for that. They did something wrong. So they did something wrong? Mm -hmm. So it's more like a punishment? Yeah. So they're an extra really? duty for a while. Oh, wow. That's crazy. But extra duty meaning it's not the punishment, it's discipline. Oh. So what those troopers need? That's a lot of them that's getting disciplined then? Because a lot, a lot of them are young. That's true. And they do, that's true. And they do, I don't, I wouldn't say they do stupid stuff. They do crazy stuff. They do stupid stuff sometimes. And sometimes, you know, so so they just need the guidance and the mentorship and the supervision. So I've gotten into this thing now where you know what? Sometimes when I go out, I don't always just want to go home. It's like. Can I go somewhere else? I was like, I done dolled up myself, got put on some eyelashes, y'all, got my eyelashes in. And it's like, can I go somewhere else now? And you can so tell when you're getting old or when you have a family because going out for you is literally like going to the grocery store. Why am I at the commissary right now, y'all? I am literally at the commissary. Oh my gosh. I need a life. I straight up need a life. But y'all, check it out. Look at that. Doesn't that look so cute? Oh my God, I'm feeling part of the, the chaplaincy group, y'all. I feel part of the chaplain spouses. I'm a chaplain spouse. So, so excited. So now we're about to head to the commissary, get some stuff for food, whatever, or just peruse, essentially. Let me just peruse to see what the commissary is like. So, that's where I'm at, y'all. Until I gotta go get Peyton in the next, what, hour or so. So, let's go perusing the commissary. are like not even paper they're like digital how cool is that digital price tag waiting in the line so far there's only one cash register open so this whole time i saw a guy that was sitting in a chair and i thought he was like probably just a regular customer Lo and behold, he was actually an employee. And that's so sad. Like, if you know, say you see the woman struggling, have to wear and bag up the groceries. Why do you have to wait for her to call you to bag up the groceries? You guys, I can't believe it. It literally took me an hour just to peruse the damn commissary. One full hour. You know what, you guys? It's actually pretty nice. It's actually a very nice grocery store. I have to admit that much. grocery stuff I decided to get I decided to get a charcoal blackhead clearer because you know what I feel like as I age in my life my pores are just getting huge like they're ridiculously huge and if y'all already know that I've been breaking out a lot since I came to Texas and I'm trying to like rectify it like I don't understand so I said let me try a different cleanser and see if that helps and I know charcoal is good at pulling out impurities and all that jazz so I figured let me try it and see what happens. So I'm waiting for Peyton, y'all. You hear the sirens? You hear them? I don't even know what it's going on for. It's like two o'clock. Well, three o'clock now. I don't even know. Oh, by the way, I did learn, y'all, when I was um, at the fair, the hail and farewell party, that they. Well, they toot the sirens. I don't know I'm saying it wrong because I know it's not tooting of the sirens because even when I said it, one of the mages was laughing at me. But I know because I don't, I don't know. I don't know. And so um, he said this to signify like the end of the military work day, which is at five o'clock. So that was good to know. You hear it? Oh, yeah. People actually stop on the other side, y'all. Well, I'm already parked waiting for the kids, but yeah, they're actually stopped on the other side. Oh my goodness, car door open and all. It's three o'clock, I don't understand why they're doing this long one for. 
y'all see we're learning you guys oh my god this is so funny this is very interesting i have to admit it's very interesting to me um especially since i don't know what it all means also see now i can go because it's like 302 so now the cars are pulling off interesting so interesting Peyton is on the scene What's up? You're wearing makeup because you I don't see your blemishes that much. You don't see my blemishes so you don't wear your makeup. You saw you crazy enough? Jeez! Yes, I'm wearing a little makeup. Man. Telling all my business. Oh man, kids, y'all kids. Too damn transparent. How was your day? Good. Was it good? Yeah. Did you hear that long tooting of the horns? Yeah. Did everybody stop in there? Like your military police people? Yeah, one time we were like going downstairs and then we stopped because we heard the torn and then we had the people like bodyguards and they just like this. Really? Even inside there they do it? Yeah. Yo, I find this so interesting. So you had a nice day? Yeah. Awesome. I'm back home and it's time to make dinner, dinner, dinner. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to be making chicken gizzard. And honestly, you guys, I don't even know how to make gizzard. But I called my mom and she said I make it the same way as I would chicken or any meat for that matter. So I'm going to clean it and season it like chicken. All right, you guys, so dinner is done. I made carrot rice, mm -hmm. the gizzard, the salad. So growing up, daddy always said, make your food colorful. So I made my food colorful. So let's try and see how this tastes. Cause y'all, I don't know if I'm a gizzard you have person. You mix it first. That's the only way it'll taste good. But my thing is the texture, Priya. I'm, I'm very much a texture person yeah. and I don't That's know. why I put it back in. That's why I put the- Rohan said it tastes good. The chicken gizzard thing back in the pot and just use a gravy. Oh, it's not bad. It's not too bad. It's okay. Really? Mm -hmm. I still want to try it. The texture's not that bad. Mm -hmm. Good morning, class. Today's class is in session. Welcome to Learn It with Latoya. And today we are going to learn about Reveille and Retreat, y'all. You know what? Technology is too, 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 too great these days. Knowledge at the fingertip. So today, we will no longer be ignorant to what the tooting of the horns are, but we shall learn what it is today. <clears throat> so, reveille and retreat. The tootings of the horn, as I call it, is played at 6.30 and 5 p.m. every single day. What does it signify, y'all? It signifies the beginning of the day and the end of the military workday. Now, Reveille, according to the U.S. Army's website, right here, you see the insignia right here, states that those who are in uniform are required to stop what they are doing, face the flag or the music if they cannot see the flag, and render a hand salute during the ceremony. Now, those who are not in uniform, or like me as a civilian, we should stand at attention and place our right hand over our heart. Anyone in a moving vehicle should pull over off the road if they can and dismount their vehicle and perform the same actions listed above. Today now, reveille and retreat ceremonies serve as a twofold purpose. They signal the beginning and the ending of the official duty day 
and serves as a ceremony for paying respect to the flag and those who serve it. So now y'all, we know the tootings of the horn is no longer called tooting of the horns. It is reveille and retreat, signifying the beginning of the workday, end of the workday, and to honor the flag. Class is out of session. Boom. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I did not want to end the vlog without adding in some educational information. So now we know Reveille and Retreat is what it is called. And also Fridays is an earlier workday, so they end at three o'clock. That is why we also heard it at three and not at five on Friday. So hope you guys loved our vlog, you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Teachers in session, subscribe, 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 subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.